Hi there, I'm Mia Sanchez, and you may recognize me as Miss USA and first runner-up at Miss Universe. Well, there is so much more to me than the sash, the crown, the dresses, the chicken cutlets, and the butt glue. Yep, that's a real thing, and we'll get into that later. I am a fourth degree black belt, a women's self-defense instructor, a mother, and a wife to my amazing co-host, Daniel Bucco. We are keeping it real as we dig into relationships, parenting, confidence, self-defense, travel, all the joys and struggles that come with living this beautiful thing we call life. So pull up a chair and throw your hair in a messy bun as we chat with all types of life experts. On this podcast, we'll have some of my fellow beauty queens as well as some of our friends that you may recognize from your favorite TV and reality shows. So make sure to like, follow, subscribe, and look out for Hold My Crown wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. Welcome, guys. We are here. We're doing it. This is episode one. Of the, Let's go. Yes, of the Hold My Crown podcast. I am so excited. And this podcast, we're just taking off the ground. We're getting real with our friends, TV personalities, experts, and I'm excited just really get to know people on a deeper level and today yes but today we're gonna talk about us we're starting with us today guys so let's we're gonna dive into us in just a moment but what you can expect on this podcast today is getting to know daniel a little bit more and me a little bit more our story together just a little bit and then we're gonna have fun and we're gonna do some rapid fire questions put each other in the hot seat oh boy we have separately prepared questions for each other so you're gonna kind of catch each other off guard we're gonna have fun with it (laughs) um i just wanted it to be a really like fun time together and getting to know each other so we can all just kind of Make this little, like, family hang time. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. Daniel, do you want to start or do you want me to start with the intro? Go for it. Intro. Who are you? Who am I? Mia Sanchez Bucco. Right. Bucco. I have to remember to include that. Yeah. uh (laughs) It's your last name. It is. It is. It is. You're welcome. I think in a few years I'm going (laughs) to adjust a little bit. No. Continue. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that later. All right. So, um... I am Nia Sanchez Bucco. I am married to my amazing husband, Daniel Bucco, for eight years. We've been together for 10. So we have three children under the age of two. We have little twin baby girls, and we have Asher, who is two years old. And our life is wild. But a little bit about my backstory. I grew up in Northern California. I kind of grew up everywhere. It's hard to nail it down. But like Northern California for a bit, middle school, high school, was in Southern California, Temecula, which is wine country. And life hasn't always been easy. When my parents separated, I like we lived in a women's shelter uh, with my mom for a bit. We were literally living in tents in people's backyards. Um, we I went with my dad, and we were looking for cans to like turn in and get money. Like it, like life isn't always and hasn't always been just like rainbows and sunshine and all of that, but. I do feel like I'm very blessed, worked really hard, trained in martial arts, became a 4-3 black belt. This is getting way too long. I wanted it to be one or two minutes, <laughs> no but hey, kidding. won Miss USA, went to Miss Universe, first runner-up, had the love of my life as a part of that journey. Now we're married. We have kids. Okay, your turn. Go. Bam. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, yeah, again, my name's Daniel Bucco. I'm originally... Born and raised in a small town in Michigan. I have now lived in LA for 20 years and have been blessed to be a working actor on screen, on TV shows, on movies, commercials, uh, as well as being a successful voiceover actor. So that has been a blessing. But most importantly, I am a husband to the most beautiful and amazing woman on the planet. And also a father to our three beautiful children, Asher, Isabel, and Zariah. Boom. Boom. Great job, boo. Yay. Okay. So quick little mini story of like how we met in our love story. So how did we meet? (laughs) Well, it depends on who you ask. We have two completely different stories. Two completely different stories. And we're not going to get into the details of it, but according to me, we can tell the no, story later. No, you can later. tell my story first okay. because mine, mine was first. Okay. Okay, so my friend was getting engaged. We're not engaged. going to all the details. Uh, mm. Oh, my goodness. How did we meet according to you? Okay, we, my story, originally met very briefly mm-hmm. at our friend's engagement party. 
Uh, I actually walked in and saw you from across no, the room. No, this is too long. Oh, my goodness. Honey. Jeez, oh, According to Daniel, we met at a friend's engagement party in what month Lord was it? Lord have mercy. I'm a storyteller. I know, but baby, this is I, I, this one is... to three minutes. Max of our whole love story. Okay, I met you at one time at an engagement party. Beautiful. The end. Done. And according to me, we and met. You never remembered me. And I did the not. The end. I didn't remember him. I had no recollection of meeting Daniel, but there is not proof talking anymore because there's a, a group photo um, of us with like fifty other people. Cut to three months later, I see Daniel at church, which is a great place to meet a man. And <laughs> yes, it is. First date, he took me to Runyon Canyon, which is like the only hill we have in LA. Took his shirt off. I was like, "What is happening?" Hold on, hold on. Stop. He did right away, and I was like, "I thought I met a man if, at church. Why is he half if naked?" Anybody knows, on our first, you can't cut me off. Yes, I can. On our first date, why is he half naked? It was 102 degrees out, and. <laughs> Uh, I don't like tan lines. So I took off my tank top. Great excuse. Like everybody else that was doing Runyon on that day. And uh, also I wanted you to see what you were working with right away. You know what I mean? The, the shirt off sealed the deal. She got on one knee and proposed right there. <laughs> and the rest is history. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> There's just so much more of this story that we need so to get to at a different point, but I'm going to skip. Like your camel pack, showing up with your camel pack to do Runyon Canyon, thinking you were going to do Mount Everest or something. My family <laughs> is very athletic. That's ridiculous. So I, when I heard we were going on a hike, I had a backpack with a water spout. <laughs> <laughs> I had hiking trail shoes on. You guys, I had only been living in LA for a month when it was ridiculous. he suggested to go on a hike. So I was ready to go on a hike because my family's from the Pacific Northwest and they yes. do like 10 mile hikes. So I was ready. This is LA yeah. where the girls are wearing basically nothing yeah. except fake eyelashes yeah. to go on a hike. <laughs> oh yeah. There's, okay. We have to tell this whole story in another episode. So please. Cut to, I tell him I'm going to compete in a pageant, Miss Nevada. He's like, mm, I don't know about that. Like, our relationship is, let me tell, I will give the good, I'm not trying to make you look like a bad guy. He was like, our relationship's doing really well. This is three months later, not right. cut to, right? So this is not like cut to next week, I'm going to compete for Miss Nevada. This is like three months later. Yeah. And he was like, I think our relationship is going really good. Wouldn't you want to keep going in like the trajectory, which is like, and getting engaged and getting married. And at the time when I was competing, you can't be married or engaged. So I was like, no, no, no. I'm so sorry. I'm going to make the decisions in my life that I need to make to feel like confident that I didn't, you know, leave, miss out on something that I really wanted to do. So he supported me though. He said, let me pray about it. <laughs> he said, let me pray about it. He prayed about it. He said, okay, let's do this. I'm team. Miss Nevada USA, let's go. He supported me. I'm I won. Team Nia Sanchez, whatever she wants to do. Exactly. He proposed yes. while I was Miss USA, so yes. a year and a half into our relationship in October. We he can proposed. get into that later too. That was beautiful. He killed that. Yes, good job. And I competed for Miss Universe. Got first runner up. Uh, three months after I gave up my crown, we got married. And on then what day? On what? What's our anniversary we got date? Married on ten ten. No, we didn't. We got married on ten seventeen, which is my birthday. But by we the celebrate way, celebrate on ten ten. She celebrates on ten ten because she wanted it on ten ten. But we the did. venue wasn't available. They had nine eleven or ten seventeen, and we weren't getting married on nine eleven. So we got married on my birthday, right. and it was the best birthday gift I could ever have. But till to this day, eight years later, she still says happy anniversary on 1010. It's ridiculous. I also buy him engraved anniversary gifts with 1010 on it. I, you just did again. I know. We just had an anniversary. You gave me a key that said 1010 2015. I'm like, what is <laughs> And then all of a sudden it was on my keychain. I didn't even put it on there. <laughs> I was going to okay. toss it because it's the wrong date. Oh, goodness. This is supposed to be one to three minutes. All right. Continue. So we get married. We travel the world together. We say, oh, we want to wait two years until we have kids. And so we start traveling, trying to get all these like adventures under our belt. Two years come so quick. Flew by. We decide to wait two more years. We have gone to Asia and like Europe, Finland, Latin America. We've spent Everywhere. time traveling all over the world. Had so much fun together. And we do start trying. We 
for some reason, are not getting pregnant. We were very confused about that. I am Mexican. We're going into all this right now? No, I'm doing it quick. Mexican, Latina, (laughs) like young, healthy, supposed to be fertile. Takes a while to get pregnant. Year and a half later, we finally get pregnant with Asher. We have a beautiful, healthy baby boy. And then right after give birth to him, like, let's start trying ASAP because... No, you said let's start trying ASAP because it took us so long to get pregnant with Asher. Exactly. And then a few months later, right. we're pregnant. Yeah, I thought it was going to take a year or two. It took us like four or five months. So now we have identical twin girls. Yeah, like, and then the, the, the mic drop is we find out we're having identical twin girls, which yeah. is insane because we have no twins in either side of our family. Yes. And uh, so it was, it was a miracle. Yes, and that's where we're at now in life. Life is beautiful. We're grateful. We're happy. We're blessed. Um, I am so excited for this rapid fire hot seat kind of section. So we're going to take a little break for our sponsors and we're going to come right back and have some fun with this next part of the podcast. Let's do it. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. So it's a new year, and as many of us are doing, we set new goals, and I love setting new goals. It's so much fun to strive towards something new. But at the same time, I feel like I need to also appreciate and focus on the good things that I've done, especially last year as I'm coming into this new year, especially as a mother and a wife. I really want to focus on the good. So I've done therapy for years, and I really love therapy because it's something that is always helping me better myself, but also realize the good that I've done and the good things in my life. It just helps me stay focused on the positive, and that's so important for me in my life. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Visit BetterHelp.com slash HoldMyCrown today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash HoldMyCrown. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> you ready to take over the podcast? Yes. Welcome to our new podcast called Being Danny Booko. We are so happy to have you here. <laughs> all right. This is my favorite part of today's podcast. I'm just excited for all of the future podcasts, but this is the hot seat, rapid fire kind of questions. Right. We, well, I, my goal was to have us both prepare individual questions for each other to help you guys get to know us and us all to kind of get to know each other. Daniel prepared a list of questions. I wrote down three because I was doing my hair and makeup to get ready. Um, but you know, it's going to be great. I also have another list. I got, I have all the options. So Unbelievable. you want to ask first? Or you want me to ask first? I'll go first. Okay. My first question is... What is the greatest problem our world is facing, and what would you do to correct it? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a question. You're a pageant girl. I know. That's a joke. And that's a, a pageant question. Um, because when we practice with the, because Daniel is my assistant pageant coach, in case you guys didn't know this, I coach pageant mm-hmm. girls contestants daniel helps me sometimes in mock interviews and that is a question and that we while asked. you were competing for miss usa i was grilling you day and night yes. on questions you were you're you an were expert you've been a pageant coach well, for the thank last you. eight years now which i had nothing and knew nothing about pageants until i met you yes. uh real, real questions, real questions. <laughs> uh describe yourself in three words that's another pageant question just describe yourself in three words all right Rapid fire. Let's do this. I am. This is not rapid. <laughs> this is not rapid. It's taking me a second. Um, I'm thoughtful. I am loving. And I am adventurous. Would you agree? You are M and adventurous? No, I am adventurous. Yes. Would I, you agree? I agree with those. Okay. Two things. Tell me about your current job and give me an example of it. Uh, my current job, well, I'm on a lot of different TV shows and movies right now doing voiceover work. Mm -hmm. And, uh, one of the jobs is, um, a show that has zombies Mm -hmm. and I do a lot of the zombie voices. 
would you like to hear? Part of the question was give me an example. <laughs> I hate <laughs> Great for Instagram clips. (laughs) Um, So, mini short story on this. I hate it when he practices his zombie voices. It's well, I do like video games too and monsters. So much, he does a lot. But I like literally, I'll be sitting on the couch, like I don't know, taking care of a baby, and I hear him opening up the fridge and like practicing zombie voices. It's obnoxious and I hate it, but. You know, but it pays the bills pays and puts bills. a roof over our head yes. and puts food on the table, okay? Yes, yes. your question. Uh, next question. Um, you've traveled to a lot of places in the world. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which has been your favorite? And what's one place that you have not traveled to that you'd like to? Hong Kong is my favorite place in the whole wide world. I'm Hong obsessed. Kong. I lived in Hong Kong in 2012. Twelve for almost a full year working as a friend of the princesses at Disneyland Hong Kong and I love it because it has beaches and it has mountains and even closer than in California like you drive two hours to the mountains in California or two hours to the beaches in Hong Kong they're right next to each other it's incredibly this beautiful. is rapid fire dude I know but I'm rapid obsessed. fire you asked me a question of something that I'm so passionate I know about. but there's a follow-up question okay, that well, I asked too part? so rap oh my goodness oh, I got it I got it okay And I still want to go to... Rapid fire, homie. Well, the first thing that came to my mind was like the Great Wall of China because I'm going to go to that with you, but I've already been there. Um, We've been to the Maldives. I'd like to go to the Caribbean with my husband. (laughs) And it's really boring, but, you know, I don't don't have anything like super high on my bucket list. I'm going to go back to places like... We went to the Maldives. I want to go back. I was thinking about booking a trip in December. like Rapid fire, okay, dude. Moving on. People are trying to get to know us. What drives you crazy about me? Oh, my gosh. Well, besides being crazy in love with you. <laughs> uh, what drives me? Oh, my gosh. This woman. You. After you finish a roll of toilet paper, just replace it with a new roll of toilet paper. I don't know how we have three bathrooms, and every time I go into a bathroom, there's no toilet paper. There's just an empty roll that's on the thing. Also, you don't shut cupboards, or even a microwave. I'll go in the kitchen, all the cupboards are open, the microwave is open, like you open it and just just close it. I go in the bathroom... (laughs) To take a shower, and I think there's a tarantula, but it's a clump of hair that's in the corner, like looking like it's gonna jump out at me. I have postpartum hair loss, guys. Oh my! Now it's now I look like the bad guy because <laughs> you said that. This was prior. Yeah, this is prior. It's true. It's true. I can keep going. I know you I'll can. I'll stop right you, there. You feel like you're stopping in mid momentum because you have so many. Yes. <sighs> but wow. let's turn the tables. What drives you crazy about me? Well, the uh, sink has been clogged for a long time, <laughs> and you say, from your hair, <laughs> from your hair. <laughs> but you say you're gonna fix it, and I feel like it just keeps getting worse. Listen, I'm not so, the greatest handyman. You and you've known this. You're the talent. You're not coming, made to do manual exactly, labor. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, look like I can do manual labor, but these muscles are all for show, people. Uh-huh. Okay, that's it. So. That you've been saying you're gonna fix the sink forever is not. I put a whole thing of Drano you, down there, and that? it still didn't work. So can, I gotta get a snake or something. You can't do all talking over each other. Um, also, when you, when you shave, you leave all your hair all over the sink. That's not true. It's a fact. There's hair in the sink right now. That's only because the drain won't drain. The, the hair would go down in the drain if there wasn't ten pounds of your hair clogging the the pipe so that's why when i'm shaving it doesn't drain it gets caught in the water something and then it, else that then drives it, me crazy stops in the in something, the sink okay something else that drives me crazy is i don't think you dress asher like in a cool way 
Like, oh my goodness. With cool little boy style. And I feel like I'm always styling him really cool. And you just throw whatever you want on him and he doesn't look cool. And I'm like, you know how to dress yourself. Why don't you dress our child appropriately? Look, I have a couple outfits that make him look like daddy. Yeah. And that's as cool as he ever needs to be. Okay. I don't know. There's, honestly, there's not a lot that drives me crazy about you. Yeah, you're pretty amazing. Because you love me so much. Yes. Okay. Um... Hmm. If the house is on fire and you had to run outside, what would you grab? Besides your children and wife. <laughs> uh, besides my children and wife. Um, I feel like it's it's your basic thing, but I would say my cell phone. That's so boring. Give me Because everything's answer. on my cell Give phone. Give me another answer. I got thousands of pictures, mm-hmm. so I can like, it's, you're not getting frames, you're not getting personal things. Next answer. I've taken pictures of a lot of things. We understand. Um, what would I take in, uh, out of the house? Not your Bible? It's on my phone. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm looking at these two Snoopies. Maybe we'd take the two Snoopy oh, yes. artwork from our good friend Tom Everhart. Yes, we might have to like put in a picture of the Snoopies in the playroom so you guys can see. Um, they were a wedding gift and it's a very lovely yes. piece of artwork from Tom Everhart, our, yes. one of our favorite artist friends. Yes. What would you take out of the house if it was on fire? I would grab the folder section from our little like cupboard area that has birth certificates, marriage certificate, like all those things. You have no idea where that is. I organize. I know exactly. Where you that. don't. It has that copies of our passport, is... copies of our driver's license, as all like our important documents. I know, but you would. It would take you a day to find it. In under forty seconds, describe our first date. Second date. Second date. Second date. Forty seconds. Go. Timing? Okay. Uh, I pick you up. I take you on top of a mountain in Burbank to a beautiful restaurant called Castaway. Uh, Your timing? Well, you just started. Um, We order the same dish, and then I ask if you want to get a glass of the wine, and uh, she says, do you want the bottle? And you said, yeah, I'll just take the bottle, (laughs) not even thinking about how much it was. Uh, But it didn't matter. And we uh, had a lovely dinner, and then um, we made out for a half hour. <laughs> you did that in about 30 seconds. Good job, baby. Boom. Boom. I feel like there's more We want to talk about the last on. 10 seconds. Just kidding. Nothing, that, happened, nothing happened. happened. We did not have sex on the second date. Yeah. And it would have been longer than 10 seconds, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Ask me a question. Um, dang, hold on, hold on. We doing rapid fire? You're doing like real th- no, things. No, it was forty seconds. Uh, what was your f- favorite thing about being Miss USA? The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and speaking on Capitol Hill, lobbying for ovarian cancer funding, research funding. Nice. And, you know, we have a part of this podcast and future podcasts where it's like ask questions. So if you want us to elaborate on things more, we can do that and we would happily do that. So you guys will be a part of this podcast. You can ask questions. We will answer them. Please. We're struggling a little bit. We are not struggling. Okay. All right. You're up. Mm-hmm. I only had two questions prepared for you. So now I, I have to. I can't believe this. Uh, what is your proudest moment in life? My proudest moment in life. And you can't answer about family because I feel like that's just would be your natural go to to say something. That is. Go do something else. What? What else are you proud of? Um, what is my proudest moment in life? I'm going to say marrying you. Oh. But also, you win Miss USA. I nothing. know it's about, about me. No, nothing to but do with I, me. But I was so proud. Oh. I was so proud in that moment. Yes, I was proud of you, but I was also proud of myself because it was like I won too. Like we we did this. We were in this together. Like we yeah. were team Booko. You guys, when we got back to the hotel suite after I slash we won Miss USA, Daniel's first thing he said, he was like, we did it. We won. Yes. I thought that was sweet. And then he went and put on my crown. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. There's a picture. Yes, I did. 
Uh, yes, when you won, I screamed like a little girl. Yes, and we have that video, video somewhere. Evidence. We might have to put that on the the podcast Instagram page so they can see what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. That's a fun video. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else do you want me to ask about you? <laughs> Tell us your morning let's routine. Let's go. Let's go quick. No, let's just go like quick basic things. Okay. If All right. You right could... now. No, it's my turn. Mm-hmm. All right. Favorite food. Go. And I'm just gonna go. Pasta. Pasta. <laughs> No, pizza. <laughs> pizza, some pasta. Ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. Um, favorite book? Why? I'm not good at rapid fire. It's right? rapid fire. Yeah, I'm going to just say what comes to my mind, but it might, might not be the real answer. Okay. A Little Princess. <laughs> a Little Princess. It's a really good book. And favorite and movie? A Little Princess. <laughs> favorite TV show? I can't think of anything. Favorite actor? Oh, what's the show that I watch? Oh my gosh! With the the Outlander. Outlander. Outlander is my favorite show. Outlander. Favorite actor? Go. Yeah. Um, Daniel Blanco. That was a test. Mm-hmm. That was a test, and you passed. Keep going. Um, I'm getting better. Uh, beaches or mountains? Beaches. Um, what's your favorite color? Purple. Uh, Lavender, lilac, lighter purple. What's your favorite hobby? Jiu-jitsu. That word barely came out of my mouth. Uh, what's your favorite pastime? Family time. Family time. Okay, my turn. What's your favorite gemstone? What? <laughs> my favorite gemstone? Answer. Uh, I don't know. Gemstone? Yes. All I know is the gemstones. I'll, the only reason I know gemstones is because of you. So your gemstone is an amethyst, and then my son's is a c- citrine, mm-hmm. and my daughter's is alexandrite. Beautiful. What's your favorite food? Gosh, probably pizza again. Jesus, pizza or anything with ranch dressing. If you could sing a duet, who would it be with? If I could sing a duet, just answer. Would it, um, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> I love me. I love me some JT. Yes, you do. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, favorite movie? Braveheart. TV show. Breaking Bad. Book. Why are all the sounds? Mm. Stop it. Bible. Good answer. Um, best friend. It just makes you feel uncomfortable because what if they listen? You didn't say exactly. the person's name. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. You, my wife. That's how I can Good answer. That. Favorite child? Favorite child? <laughs> oh, my favorite boy is Asher. There you go. And I have two favorite girls. Beautiful. Yes. Um, where would you go if you could go anywhere in the world right now? Man, Maldives was awesome. Okay, that's it. We're done. Turks rapid, and Caicos. Rapid fire questions are done. We're going to take a little break. And then when we are done with the break, we are going to answer some DM questions from you guys. So let's go to the break. Whoop, whoop. Welcome back from our little break. This section of the podcast I am excited about because we get to get to know you guys, chat with you guys, answer your questions, but I don't have an official name for it. So I like alliterations. I would love your help. Send me a DM, drop a message into the actual Instagram page for this podcast, but help me think of a good name. I'm thinking like mail something and like DM discussions. Like I like alliterations and I want it to be like about interacting with you guys, answering questions and all that. So help DM me think Danny. Of, DM Danny. DM Danny. You want it to be all about you, huh? This is my podcast now. I have taken over. Alrighty, so Hold my crown. I have some random questions from a recent time that I've done and ask me anything, but in the future we're gonna keep these really, really, really real time. So this is recent, but I'm gonna ask you like During the week and the next podcast, those answers will be up. So um, let's start with, they're all going to be a little random. They're a little all over the place. But 
How many kids do we want? Well, we always said two to four. Two or four. Two or four, apparently. We had one, and then God said three. (laughs) So we have three now. Are we going to have another baby? I don't know. Are we? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Are we taking a pregnancy test? It's not not happening right now. That's for sure. Um, All right. What is your go-to karaoke song? These are so random. Answer. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. That's mine. Uh, Man, I feel like a woman. That was actually the song I gave birth to. I don't know if that's TMI, but you know, we want to. Let's go, girls, because we had two girls coming. Yes, it was literally the song we played while I was pushing out. And you were feeling like a woman. Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Favorite memory of being a cast member at Disney? Mm. Obviously, that's me. That is you. I would say I loved working in Hong Kong internationally and. I had to learn a little bit of Cantonese, a little bit of Mandarin, trying to talk to all the children in whatever language they spoke. I love being friends with Rapunzel because she was so curious and she did lots of things. Like she read books, she baked, Sorry, she played not, guitar. Are you, I'm yawning. You're yawning. But, I, but it's at not because I'm bored. No, it's not because I'm bored. It's because I have three kids under two and I don't get any sleep. It's called sleep deprivation, okay? Leave me alone. It wasn't had nothing to do with you. Oh, my gosh. Well, I loved working at Disney. That working in Hong Kong, playing that friends with that princess was a lot of fun mm-hmm. because she was so curious and, like, silly. Do you have any of those costumes left? Why are you asking? Well, that might be a little spicy. Wow. I think maybe <laughs> children will listen to this podcast. I don't know. With their parents? Like... Okay, go on. Move move on. Moving on. on, on. Okay. Uh, Let's see. What is on your travel list for 2024? (laughs) I, 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 what's the word? I. Hand the baton? I give to you. I, (laughs) I, I defer to you. Because you put together all of our travel. plan all of our travel. You are the travel queen. For Legit. sure, mostly for sure, I want to do Europe this year, late summer. I want to back it up to Oktoberfest, but Oktoberfest starts in September. Um, so I want to do a European cruise because with three small children, you have one room, but you're seeing multiple cities. I feel like that's the best way to travel with little kids. And then we will rent like a van and travel around Germany because I have a lot of family in Germany. Rent so. a van. We have so many kids. We need a van. Jeez, oh, we got we got kids everywhere. We have seventeen children. Yeah, it feels like seriously it does. All right, let's do like two more of these questions, and then we can wrap it up. I do have a surprise for you guys. Just one little thing at the very end. Um, so we'll do two more questions, and we'll wrap it up with like the surprise, which will be part of all of our podcasts. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. First beauty pageant you ever watched? Obviously, these questions were for me. What per, what was your first question? Answer it anyway. Or, oh, what sorry. Was my what? First pageant. What was your first pageant you ever watched? Uh, it had to have been a Miss USA or Miss America. Yeah, on TV. Yeah. 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 You, know, was... you and your three brothers watched? <laughs> Two brothers, first of all. You're one of three. Yeah. Jeez. You know what I mean? Uh, yes, probably. We had uh, snuck down and watched a Miss America or Miss USA in the basement. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know. I remember watching Diana Mendoza win Miss Universe, and the next year I watched her crown Estefania. And um, Diana Mendoza, before I started meeting and knowing like the current Miss Universes, who are now my friends, she was my number one favorite Miss Universe that I looked up to and wanted to be like she. Okay, mini short story, super fast, and then we're no, going to move on to the next part. Well, what's the first pageant? That was the answer. No, but I'm answering That was more. the question. I'm elaborating. She. So when I was Miss USA and I was doing my program book photo shoot, I wanted it to be like hot and sexy, like Diana Mendoza's. Hers, she was naked on the program book, but didn't look like she had 
like a big old like lay of like seashell like necklace thing and she was like in the beach and sandy and i remember esther if you're listening esther was like esther is who esther swan who is the manager for miss universe and like also a little bit miss usa she was like miss universe is a little sexier than miss usa so we're not gonna do all of that we can like get you a sexy version i was like i was almost miss universe why can't i be (laughs) why can't i be sexy um I feel like we could go, we could do a whole podcast on just pageant well, stories behind yeah, the scenes. Hello. And if you're a pageant competitor, former, all those things, you'll really enjoy this podcast. But this is for everybody. Anywho, I'm getting off track. The last thing that we're going to talk about today is book o buttons. And this part is actually going to be a little small part in the beginning of most of our episodes. And we're going to talk about what buttons got pushed during the week. And I'm sure you guys can relate to a lot of them because we all push each other's buttons. And I feel like you guys are going to relate and I want to hear what you think. So today's book o button happened last night, actually. Are we talking about this thing from last night? We have to like try to keep it condensed. So this is ridiculous. We can't talk over each other though. Let me elaborate and then you can counter argue or counter, give a counterpoint. Okay. And you guys can. Uh, weigh send in. weigh in on who do you think is right in this situation. Okay. So I saw this thing on TikTok. It's a great way to start any Gee, story. Exactly. So I won. And it was like teaching men about like adding to their wife's mental load. And they were talking about how men ask a lot of stupid questions. And Hey, haven't you heard there's no such thing as stupid questions, only stupid. Wait. <laughs> Yeah, there's no such thing as stupid questions, only stupid answers. Wait, no. <laughs> what is it? What's the saying? There's no such thing as dumb questions. I don't know. That's it, period. I also... There's no such thing. Okay, well, there is. Because you're adding to your wife's mental load. <laughs> and it's something as simple as... I'm going to really call you out right now in, like, a funny way. Duh. It's fine. Oh, my gosh. We wanted to get ready to be on camera today, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, before Daniel walked to the bathroom, I was like, we're getting ready for bed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't even get through this. I got it. Okay. Before he was walking back to the bathroom, he was like, hey, is the spray tan bottle and the mitt in the bathroom? Or, like, where is it? And I was like, that's a stupid question. And also, if you can hear the lawnmower, we need, yeah, we we we're just we're just going to power through it. We're almost done. Are we? Yes. Okay. It's not that loud. It's just if you hear it, I apologize. We, it's part of life. Um, I was like, why? So he asked me, where's the, the sunless tanner? That is not what I said. And the mitt? That is not what What'd I you said. What would you say? I said, first of all, the last time. You're going way too long. No, 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 no. The last time, because we have, you've kind of got me on the spray tan thing. Because I, I love to be tan all the time. But with three kids under two, I don't have any time to get outside anymore and like go for a run or tan or any of that type of stuff or be by the pool. So you got me on the spray tan thing. Yeah. So I asked you because last time there was no mitt for the, put, the, the applying of the spray tan. I'm getting flustered. So it's exactly. So. I asked you, as I walk, was about to walk to the bathroom, hey, is the mitt, the new mitt, in the bathroom? That's all I said. Okay, now let me finish my thought. So what I am saying is that adds to the mental load because you <laughs> simply could have walked to the bathroom, looked to see if you saw it, and if you didn't see you could even open up some cupboards, like look around a little bit. And then you would have found it. And it actually was on the counter, the mitt, the sunless tanner stuff. All of it was there. You didn't have to ask me. I already have 10 million things on my mind and my to-do list to prepare for life and every single day. So don't add to my mental load. So the thing that this TikTok person was saying was you only get five dumb questions a day. And then after that, you max out. And I'm not going to answer any more dumb questions. So is it my turn? No, not yet. Um, So asking the... Viewers, listeners, do you agree <laughs> that men add to the mental load by asking stupid questions and they need to limit their stupid questions? Although I will say, I asked two stupid questions this morning and I was like, dang, I do it too. Yes. Yeah. But I try not to. But I don't do it. 
All right, so my turn here, okay? First, when you brought this up last night, baffled, completely baffled that she went on a rant for like 10 minutes. That's an exaggeration. Of saying, that's not an exaggeration. It is. Of this whole thing about don't ask silly questions. I tried to be lighthearted about it. And I said, here's the deal. And let me know what you think about this. I am walking to the bathroom, okay? You are right next to me. I say, is the mitt in the bathroom? Now, I'm right next to you. Why would I walk to the bathroom, not see the mitt or see the mitt, and then come back and then have to ask that question? Okay. If I'm already on the way right. and you're right next to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, now my turn. No, not your turn. Let me use another example. No, Let's I wanna, say, let me respond to that no, one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's say I'm, I am about to go down to the car. And I say, hey, is so-and-so, is the diaper bag in the car? And you would say, why are you, you think that's not, do you think that's a silly question? I'm not about to use two words here. Common sense, okay? (laughs) This is common sense, people. If I I am going to go down to the car and I ask you if the diaper bag's in there, why wouldn't I ask you before I go all the way down to the car, then go down to the car realize it's not there and then have to come back up and say, hey, where's the diaper bag? No, the diaper bag only has one location in our house, which is on the hook. If so it if it's wasn't not the there, hook. then it's probably in the car. So go check it out and look for yourself. But <laughs> why would stop, I go check stop, if you're right next and I'm stop, asking mm-hmm. and you would know where it is? No, okay. So we can't like dive into this forever, but like you guys get the point. Okay. Obviously, we don't agree. I'm interested to see what everybody else is thinking. I think you don't add to your partner's mental load if you don't have to, especially the mom that is like the manager of the entire family and does all the things and organizes all the things for the children. We got three of them for you, for me, for trips, for this, blah, 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 blah. I don't. My brain is overloaded. I have 12 million tabs open at one time and I don't need an extra tab added because I have to like pause all my tabs, like help your situation and then come back to my tabs. And then I'm like, where was I at? And it's a whole thing. So I think I'm right. You think you're right. We y'all can weigh in, drop a comment somewhere. I don't know, a DM, let us know. And we will follow up with your answers next Two episode. Words. Okay. Common sense. It's a common sense thing. I was trying to stop him from getting And again, in. there's no such thing as dumb questions. It's a long episode. We're going to wrap it up. Okay. Just dumb. Uh, what is the saying? <laughs> You're going to have to Google it. All right, guys. So thank you so much for (laughs) listening to the Hold My Crown podcast, where we are just getting real, real, keeping it 100 with you guys. I'm excited for future episodes. We will have, like I mentioned before, future and current. We have current beauty queens coming to be on the show. We have your favorite TV and reality star personalities, experts from all walks of life. This is going to be so much fun. We're going to learn together, have fun together, hang out together. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that little plus sign so that you get those downloads for this podcast. I cannot wait to see you next week. We have episodes coming every single week and um, we love you guys. Love y'all. Let's get it. See you next time.